Well, about Mr. Ibo and his daughter, eh? that matter is still really, really surprising me. And uh, it's, I'm finding it hard to believe, oh, to be honest with you, I'm really, really finding it hard to believe. And <laughs> if really eh, that guy, Mr. Ibo, was knocking his own daughter, it's not like his daughter, but his adopted daughter. Because Mr. Ibo told us that Jasmine is his adopted daughter. He was the one that told us. But he never asked for documents. Is there any document to back it up that you adopted this girl? And what year, what time, and when? So now, the whole cycle is that Mr. Ibo did not Jasmine. Jasmine did not Mr. Ibo for some. That's the allegation no? according to the according to Mr. Ibo's wife. Kai, Mr. Ibo. Mr. Ibo don't suffer. Well, Jasmine, instead of her to well, I don't know. She can say whatever she wants to, she can decide to address the matter or not to address the matter, but she shared a video of her assisting Mr. Ibo while on the bed, you know, shaving him and taking care of him. All these things started because of people donations. Because of people donations, the money was much. And the wife wanted to use the money for other things. The wife think that she should be in charge of that money. Money can bring problems, no matter how the law. I know money, when it comes to money, money will definitely bring issues. So according to this this actor, um, that is uh, Prince, he said, I honestly do not know the truth in the different version of the story, but if the said adopted daughter was in actual, is actually a side chick, side chick, and you were are having, having sex with, and you had the mind to introduce her to the world and to your family as your daughter, bros, you were committing incest. And you need to ask God for forgiveness. It's sad. Family isn't only biological. There are many tasks you should have given her bestie, family friend, colleague, etc., but not daughter. This life is more spiritual than physical. It's never a bad thing to adopt someone into your family life. But bringing someone that you are sexually involved with into your family and tag that adopted daughter and for convenience is essence. Is Maybe we should deal with the spiritual first. Who knows? I do not think that story is true, honestly speaking, but there is an audio that confirms Mr. Ibu saying the story is true. Now, he confirmed it with someone, he confided in someone that yes, indeed, he was actually doing uh, Jasmine. That he stopped doing it when he discovered that Jasmine was having an affair with his son. Jasmine said, as long, as long as you are getting better, nothing else matters. I remain silent until you are back to your feet again. Chess. That is coming from Jasmine sharing the photos of Mr. Abel on dead receiving treatment. <laughs> ah, Bababi. Well, guys, uh, Mr. Abel need to rectify some things in his life. It's either he kick out Jasmine or kick out the wife. There is no settle. There is no coming together as family or settling each other with these kind of things. This is why I said, do not act as an angel of devil trying to bring family together that are not meant to come together. For me, two choices. He said that Mr. Abel go uh, cut ties with Jasper or cut ties with the first with his wife. 
not with his, his, his children, no. cut ties with Jasmine or cut ties with the wife. Those are the two choices he has. Those are the two choices. If not, uh, he's going to get sick again one day and he's going to be asking for help and the whole scenario will start again. That is if Nigerians we have the mind to donate for him again because I think this is the last chance he will get to ever get donations. Because Nigerians are not fools. These are people's money that these people are fighting over. People had earned money. These are people hard earned money. So it's crazy. Well, let's uh, move past that. Tell me exactly how you feel about that. Listen to what uh, Daddy Free said uh, about, uh, you know, that uh, Pastor Adebuye's uh, testimony about how God changed an entire uh season because of him that the free said i can never serve a god that stopped the snow but cannot resurrect young people like mobad or his servant like osinaji a god who watches his tight pain children in hunger and punery yet cannot stop the free falling naira Despite his son's declaration in 2016, a God whose angels are watching over pulley boots, yet ringing, went on. I think it has now come upon us to change the narrative of what our parents consider to be God. That is coming from Daddy Freeze. He said, instead of him, we can never serve a God who they change season. For person, for for abroad, meanwhile children are going hungry or hungry in Nigeria. Rigging is continuously going on in our election. Somebody like Moba die, no fear resurrection, and somebody like Osin that she would deserve the sin, you no fear resurrection. But yet it go change season on behalf of a pastor. So you no fear serve that that kind of God like like. <laughs> <laughs> oh god damn it but see i know this about god though. i'm not saying that, that, that the phrase is wrong or pastor adeboyo is right or wrong oh. i wasn't there I, I i didn't know but i can say this about god there are things that god cannot do there's nothing that god cannot do i believe that it's because somebody is lying somewhere pastor I uh, they believe they lie to try to get his own gain. No go make me talk say that God oh lie lie. Yeah, but, but they believe too small for me to they doubt my God. Even if it is lie, and they believe is too small for me to doubt my God. That what God cannot do. It's too small for me to doubt her. So some people use the God's name to lie. Every on a daily basis. So miracle God never did. They will say that it was. But they know say they lie about miracle. But God never you know able to record such miracle. But they'll say that it was. But that will not make me doubt God. Mm? So that the freeze, you shouldn't doubt God. Because he's unquestionable God. But our religious leaders here yeah, for Nigeria, they, they lie too much. But that shouldn't make you doubt God. Because of their lies. God can do anything. God can decide to please this one and unplease this. God can decide to take this one life and give this one life. God that this good man, God that is kind to rubbish his life. And you, this bad man, God decide to see bless you. He's unquestionable God. He knows exactly what he's doing. So what? Uh, 
That is my last remark on that particular matter. Though so Hank and Nuku is now begging for assistance. Let's listen to you guys. Oh boy. Well, I'm going to address my fans and uh, those who truly love me, including my governor, Sheriff. I have worked for this country. I have attained the height of being a legend. I've had no job for God knows how many years. And um, I expect the Nigerians to also know that I did it all for them. If you truly love me, I'm just going to ask the Governor Sheriff, please send support to me and my fans who truly love and appreciate the works I've done for them. I send my account number, and if you think you truly love me, may God help you all. Help me. He said, uh, send a card. He said, not send a card, but since you are the person, he needs help. He needs help. He needs help. Okay, he actually needs help. He does send a card, but no one donate money. That's the easiest thing I make people do. You need a rehab. That's the help you're asking you to go for. <laughs> you need a rehab. Couple. <laughs> eh? If anybody says couple, they know you are not serious. If this guy agreed, this guy not to say the sequel. Or, you know, to say I have an alcohol problem. Listen very well. He was forced to even do that video. That guy doesn't need help. If he needs to say, ah, I have this problem, I'm trying to get help, and so, 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 I don't have money to pay. Please donate. I want to go to rehab. You need a rehab. You need to clean yourself. <sighs> so, if you like, you donate though. If you like, you donate though. It's uh, entirely, uh, entirely up to you. But for me, forget that guy no need shishi. <laughs> so I said he needs rehab, not money. Well, that person said you need rehab, not money, my dear. Legend, respectfully speaking. And so I said, who is telling him what to say? Cause I heard someone whispering, and your and my fans. Oh, am I the only one that heard it? <laughs> Yeah, somebody was telling you after I called on the, the governor sheriff, somebody telling you, your fans, are your fans, and your fans. <laughs> uh, I swear, time will come, all those entertainers, uh, it's not this new normal to the common line because they ask for help. help, help. Help, 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 help. All of them are going to pack, but they go there. Since they get small money, but they don't want to touch them, but they will need help. Okay, let me make this clear, guys. Let me make this clear. You know? To all the entertainers out, if you truly need help, eh, no one let anybody discourage you. Cry for help. It's better say they laugh you than say they cry for you. No matter what they talk. But I'm just talking directly to those who just see it as their right to keep coming online and begging for help. May God not turn us into beggars that will be begging for help online uh, by special grace of God. Eh? May God not turn us into that. May God not give us problems that we cannot solve on our own. Uh, that is just my general prayer. So let me know exactly how you feel about the discussion we had today. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed.